Poor ventilation in a building can result in lower oxygen levels and a buildup of carbon dioxide, which can have a negative impact on health and productivity. On this episode of Tech Ventures with Lazina, we will explore ways to monitor indoor air quality with the Infineon Sensive Pass CO2 sensor. Hi, welcome back to Tech Ventures. My name is Lazina, and I'm the Technical Marketing Engineer at Future Electronics. If you're interested in checking out any previous Tech Ventures videos, then please click the link on the screen or check out the description box below. Since the start of the pandemic, there has been an increased focus on our indoor air quality. Among the gases that are present indoors, carbon dioxide builds up quickly in crowded and poorly ventilated spaces as humans produce CO2 each time they exhale. It's important to monitor CO2 levels as it is a key parameter for indoor air quality, for health and well-being, and to reduce the risk of airborne virus transmission in closed environments. The challenges faced when designing in a CO2 sensor are size, performance, and cost. Infineon Sensive Pass CO2 sensor leverages photoacoustic spectroscopy technology to provide a compact CO2 sensor, overcoming the challenges of existing carbon dioxide gas detectors. The sensing chamber is encased in a gold can housing. It consists of an optical filter, MEMS heater for light beam, and a sensitive MEMS microphone. There is a MOSFET to drive the MEMS heater, and an onboard microcontroller converts the output into a CO2 concentration reading. What's great about the Infineon Sensive Pass CO2 sensor is that it's providing a direct readout of the real CO2 level, not only a correlation. Today, I'm going to put the Sensive Pass CO2 sensor to the test. I have an eval board right here, and I have a bottle of Diet Coke and a pack of Mentos. Yes, I'm going to recreate the popular science project, but on a smaller scale as I'm indoors and I don't want to create a big mess in this room. I would like to see how the CO2 levels in a room changes after this experiment. I have my board powered on and I'm going to place it right over here, right next to the source of action. In preparation, I have my Infineon Sensive Pass CO2 sensor to go GUI open and I've connected it to the appropriate COM port. Diet Coke, like any other carbonated beverage, is packed full of dissolved carbon dioxide gas, which forms bonds with water. When I drop the Mentos candy into the bottle, more and more CO2 bubbles are produced due to the shape of the candy. The rising bubbles react with the dissolved CO2 in the soda, and that causes more CO2 to be freed into the air, resulting in the mini eruption we just witnessed. Look at that! Before the eruption, the levels of CO2 in this room were green, around 500 parts per million, meaning it was well ventilated. During the experiment, you can see a huge spike the concentration of CO2 went up to 14,076 parts per million. Quite toxic. Already at 1,000 parts per million, people begin to experience drowsiness and have difficulty concentrating, while levels above 2,000 parts per million impact cognitive function. Good thing this room is properly ventilated, or I would have passed out. As we saw today, Infineon Sensive Pass CO2 sensor enables users to measure and adjust indoor air quality, contributing to overall well-being, health, and productivity, while also optimizing energy efficiency. It's perfect for sensitive smart home and building automation applications, such as demand-controlled ventilation systems, air purifiers, thermostats, and personal assistants. To learn more about Infineon or CO2 sensors, please contact your local Future Electronics representative or visit us at futureelectronics.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time on Tech Ventures with Lazina.